Hello, welcome to this video on ordering with publishers using PubNet and Booklog. If you don't use PubNet to order directly with your publishers through EDI, then you may be paying too much for your orders. In this video, we'll explain how to order with your publishers electronically using PubNet and Booklog. PubNet, which has been an important part of the North American book industry since 1997, is an EDI-based ordering system that delivers orders from Booklog and other systems directly to publishers. If you're used to ordering electronically with Ingram, then using PubNet is essentially the same. PubNet works like a post office for the book industry. Most of North America's major publishers work with PubNet, which allows POS systems like Booklog to deliver orders to those vendors using PubNet as a delivery system. With Booklog's PubNet interface, which is free, you can create a PO to a publisher and transmit it, just as you do with Ingram. Booklog will send that order to PubNet, which will deliver your order to the vendor. Then the vendor will send a confirmation back to PubNet, which will deliver the confirmation to you. We're making this video in the summer of 2020, and as of right now, PubNet is running some promotions to help bookstores integrate EDI ordering with publishers into their current processes. As part of these promotions, if you sign up with PubNet, they will issue you a free standardized address number, or SAN. You need a SAN in order to place orders electronically, and they normally cost $150. PubNet normally requires a $75 setup fee to use their service, but they are currently waiving that fee. Booklog's interface with PubNet is already free. Most publishers offer deeper discounts when you order from them directly. Discounts from those publishers range from 44% to 48%. When you hit a publisher's free freight minimum, the freight is completely free. There is no fuel surcharge. Another major incentive to order direct from publishers is that your return policies with many vendors become much more attractive. If you have ordered direct from major publishers, they do not charge any restocking fees on those orders. And while distributor orders usually involve a window in which you're allowed to make a return and a cap on the amount of inventory you're allowed to return, when you order direct from major publishers, you're allowed to return any book you've ordered, as long as it's still in print. Processing orders through EDI makes order fulfillment more efficient for publishers. So some publishers incentivize PubNet ordering by offering an additional 1% EDI discount. PubNet is also a big time saver. Instead of calling vendors, emailing in purchase orders, or visiting their websites to place orders, you can create orders in Booklog and transmit them from the EDI agent. Ordering through PubNet also reduces errors, since the orders are transmitted directly into the vendor's system and do not have to be manually transcribed. PubNet also allows you to order 24-7, so you can work on your own schedule. PubNet's list of affiliate vendors is very comprehensive. For more information on which publishers work with PubNet, visit www.pubnet.org. As we mentioned earlier, Booklog uses PubNet as an EDI bridge to your publishers. To use PubNet, your first step should be to contact them and set up an account. Remember, the setup for those accounts is currently free. PubNet will give you an FTP address, FTP login, and FTP password. They'll also issue an account number, probably your SAN, and a password. To use Booklog's interface with PubNet, you'll need to enter those PubNet credentials into Booklog. And to direct Booklog to use PubNet for ordering with certain publishers, you'll have to set up those vendors to communicate with PubNet. After signing up with PubNet and getting your account credentials, you'll need to enter them into Booklog for each vendor you plan to order with through PubNet. Go to the maintenance menu and click Vendors. Look for the vendor you want to order with and double click on their record. You'll need to enter PubNet's FTP address and the vendor's SAN on the first tab. If you don't have the vendor's SAN, you can find it on PubNet's list of affiliate vendors. Then click the Electronic Ordering tab and choose X12 PubNet. Then enter your PubNet account number into the Bill to Account and Ship to Account fields. Your PubNet account password into the Bill to and Ship to password fields. 
and then your FTP password and login in the fields at the bottom of the window. Once your vendors are set up to use PubNet, you'll be able to send your orders out to those vendors using the EDI agent. You'll also get confirmations, or purchase order acknowledgements, back on those orders through the EDI agent. And those purchase order acknowledgements will update your purchase order to show what will and won't be coming on that order. To transmit your orders through PubNet, you'll put a check next to the finalized PO you want to send and click Transmit. A transmission window will appear, and here you can make decisions about how to back order items and when you want to transmit your order. After it's transmitted, the EDI agent will show you whether or not the transmission went through. You can search for available POAs after the PO has been transmitted, but be aware that different vendors have different response times. You might only wait a few minutes for a response, or you might have to wait a whole business day. Once the POA gets received, Booklog will update your PO to show which items have been canceled, assuming you didn't backorder any items. This can speed up your receiving process quite a lot. Thanks for joining us. We hope it encourages you to start using PubNet in your ordering process. It's an inexpensive service, especially with their current prices, that can save you time and money. We also hope you found this video useful. If you did and would like to see more like it, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks again.